Super Mayhem. Hello friends, it's Tim here from Super Mayhem, and I uh, thought we'd do something a little bit different to Nintendo. Today we're going to talk about uh, this little beauty. You might have seen me post it on, the inst on my Instagram. It's the PlayStation Classic. Wow! And I've been having a whole heap of fun with it. I'm currently working my way through Final Fantasy VII, um, which is a great game, one of my favourites. Um, it's got a whole heap of other games, it's got 20 inbuilt games like uh, Resident Evil, the first one, Director's Cut, uh, Twisted Metal, um, what else is on there, Cool Borders 2, Tekken 3, a whole heap of cool things that I've been playing around with. Uh, and they're currently ridiculously cheap, you can get one for under $40 on Amazon.com, which I'll leave a link to down below if you want to grab one. And I strongly suggest you do, if you're a retro fan such as myself. Uh, the one thing I was upset about though is it didn't have Tony Hawk's Pro Skateboarding on there. <laughs> which was one of my classic uh, childhood memory games, shall we say. Um, so today I'm going to show you, with the help of a USB 2.0 uh, stick, we can uh, hack this bad boy. So stick with me through this little tutorial. And I'll show you how you can put any PlayStation game you want onto this little console thing, making it pretty much a PlayStation emulator, which makes it a whole heap cooler than it already is. Alright guys, here we go. I won't go too far into the criticism that the Sony PlayStation Classic has received. Some people believe the games included were a bit crappy, there was a lack of DualShock controls, and of course the user interface of the system itself is, well, pretty bare bones. However, lucky for us, the guys over at Sony were pretty lax about security, and it wasn't too long before people were plugging all kinds of things into the USB ports on the front of the machine. With a bit of tinkering, a USB stick, and a bit of software, you are actually able to play any PlayStation game you want. Pretty neat, hey? So don't forget to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of the PlayStation, or game hacking in general. And of course subscribe with notifications on if you are new to the Mayhem 2. Ah, oh, and I will quickly mention that any tinkering with the console could possibly lead to bricking it, as you are technically making it do things that it wasn't designed for. Whilst this software that we will be using has been tried, tested and working, there is always a bit of a risk. So if you're a scaredy cat or paranoid, then this might not be the best video for you to be watching. Anyway, with that disclaimer out of the way, let's go onwards with the show. Okay guys, the easiest way to do this is to break it down into nice simple steps, like any tutorial. So the first thing you're going to do is follow the Autobleam Super Mayhem download in the description of this video. This will allow you to get a zip that contains a ready to use version of Autobleam USB, which is build 0.5.1. This neat little package was put together by a YouTuber called Mad Little Pixel, so many thanks to him for making this whole process a lot easier as it contains everything you need to get started without any mucking around yourself. He did have it uploaded on a Dropbox, but at the time of doing this video it had been removed, so I thought I'd mirror it for you guys. All props to Mad Little Pixel though, I didn't do anything except upload the file again. If you're interested in the finer details of Autobleam, which includes a new beta release, please feel free to check out the GitHub page in the description below for more info as well. If you are unsure of anything in this tutorial, that page should help you fill in the blanks, as well as Mad Little Pixel's video which I'll also put in the description. Anyway, once you have downloaded the Autobleam zip from the link below, you simply unzip it to your hard drive, which may take a little while as there are lots of little files making up a nearly 700 megabyte package. Now, before we go any further, it's time to prime your USB flash drive. It's very important that you name your USB flash drive SONY, with all caps, as well as formatting the flash drive to FAT32. This is an important step, so don't forget this one guys, or else it won't work. Once Autobleam has finished unzipping itself, copy across the entire inside of the new Autobleam folder onto your USB 2 stick root. I have heard that there can be some glitching with USB 3.0 sticks, possibly because the PlayStation Classic uses USB 2.0. But you can give it a try with a 3.0 if you want, and I'd be interested to hear if it works or not, so let us know in the comments below if you test this one out. 
Once that's all done, it's time to copy your PlayStation ROMs, the bins and the queues into the games folder that is now on your USB stick. Make sure you have the files in a folder labelled as the actual game's name. This not only makes things cleaner, it is also how Auto Bleam works. It can also make it easier to find games if there are multiple variations and or installations of it. Mad Little Pixel again talks a little bit more about how this version of Auto Bleam handles names, so make sure you check out his more detailed video on the subject as well in the description below. Now, make sure your PlayStation Classic is unplugged, no red light or any lights on the console, and then plug in your USB into the Player 2 controller slot. Now go ahead and plug in and boot up your PlayStation Classic, and once the light flashes green and red a few times, you should be met with an auto bleam interface with any luck. Push X is prompted to scan for new games, and then off you go and you're ready to play around with the settings, or enjoy your no doubt legally obtained PS ROMs, or even jump back into the regular PlayStation Classic. Auto Bleam is super simple to use, and also keeps the same features of the PlayStation Classic, like hitting the open button to change discs, hitting the reset button to make a save state, or even switch back to the original PS Classic interface at the touch of the circle button on the home screen. This little hack is simply amazing, and really opens up the PS Classic to something more amazing than it already is. If you haven't already purchased one, as I said in the intro, they are under $40 on Amazon at the moment, and I'll leave an affiliate link for that below. I don't know how long the price will stay this low, so hurry up and grab one. Even if you don't plan to use Auto Bleam, I've really had a ton of fun playing with this little thing, especially Final Fantasy VII. It's great to get back to my PlayStation roots, I guess you could say. I will note that the only thing I'm unsure about personally, that perhaps someone in the comments can chime in with, is playing two-player games whilst using this hack. Because the second controller port is in use with the flash drive, I'm not certain if there is a way to go two players with these emulated games. If you know how to do this, please let us all know in the comments below and I'll pin an update if we have one. Yo, what's up guys, it's Tim here. I couldn't leave this video without actually trying to play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Keep in mind it's been a few years, but this is running through Auto Bleam. Uh, which is pretty awesome. Um, we're going to go free skate. I'll go Tony Hawk because he's pretty cool. He's, even though he's goofy footed. Uh, which is, you know, some of that way inclined. Uh, I don't remember any of this shit. So let's just jump right into it and see how this, this bad boy runs. Um, if it runs alright. And if I can still play. Scoring tips. It's good tips. It's good to get the tip in. That's my scoring tip. All right, oh, I'm in. X is to Ollie. X is to Ollie. Let's get in the ramp. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, jeez. Straight away a spill. A mid, mid spill, bro. Oh, oh, another spill. I can't remember how to play this game. But it looks like it's running fine, doesn't it? It looks like prime uh, Tony Hawk style. Oh, I'm trying to do a trick. Yes, I landed one, and a grinding, yes, I remember this game, oh, I sort of remember this game. Yeah, so this is awesome, I mean, like, now I can play whatever PlayStation game I want, pretty much, on this bad boy, because this is all running on the PS Classic. Link in the description below, make sure you get one. I reckon they're pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, Hank, oh, the hand plant didn't work out so well for me. So, the game works fine, whether or not I can control it is another... Oh, I got greedy. I got greedy. There we go. Straight away, crooked shit. Oh, yes. Oh, 360 heel flip. You don't see the uh, the young kids doing them anymore. Oh, and that's a skull cracker right there. So are they still making these games? Does anyone know? Leave a, oh, leave a comment in below if you think I'm awesome at this game, which we already know I am. But yeah, look guys, I really hope this tutorial has helped some of you out. Um, it certainly has helped me out, because I'm going to have a lot of fun with this bad boy, as soon as I learn how to skate, that is. Uh, but if you have any questions, please either refer to the uh, GitHub page, or leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer them. Hopefully this tutorial has been informative. Oh, I've got nine seconds. Quick, get a grind in. Get a grind in. Yes! Oh, a kickflip! Oh, to the impossible! 
It was impossible. Did you guys see that? I nailed it impossible. You try and do that at home, kids. All right, well, yeah, it seems to work fine, doesn't it? It works great. Um, some of the more intense cutscene games I've heard may glitch a little bit, uh, but you'll have to test out. Um, I'll be AAA. Uh, I'll let you test out uh, what, what you think, but um, this all works the same as the regular PlayStation Classic. Like, if I hit reset right now, which I will, It'll take me back to the auto bleam page and I can uh, update my save save spot and everything. So I can resume from that, like my save states. I got access to the memory card. I can change games or whatever. I only got two on there as you saw in the uh, display. But yeah, anyway guys, um, that's pretty much how you hack a PlayStation Classic. So I'll have my regular outro at the end, but please do leave a like and uh, a comment below. It's really appreciated, guys. Any thoughts you may have, um, any pledge on Patreon would be super appreciated. It all goes into funding the sites and funding new videos, so your dimes aren't wasted. Don't worry about that. All right, guys. Well, this has been Tim, and hopefully you'll be uh, auto-bleaming soon, too. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you soon. Anyway, that's it for today, friends. I really hope you enjoyed this video with me today. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, turn notifications on, give us a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel, guys. And most importantly, leave a comment down below about uh, Super Mario, future video suggestions, or just say hi. It's nice to be social sometimes. Also, whilst you're here, check out these other Super Mayhem videos. And as always, a huge thank you to Jacob Clark for being our first Patreon supporter. It's super appreciated. If you want to join the team, click the link on the screen or in the description below. And pledge as much or as little as you can. It's really appreciated, guys. Also, don't forget to visit supermayhem.com. And that's it for today, friends. Ahoo!